Hi everyone, today we're taking a look at the Titanfall Map Pack Expedition. This is the first DLC content for Titanfall. The gameplay footage here is coming from PC, but the game is also available on Xbox One as well. Now there's three maps that have been included in this map pack. Runoff, War Games, and Swampland. They offer a pretty good variety of kind of play styles and environments, with special mention really going out to uh, War Games, which is just a stunning map and a lot of fun to play. Swampland, a little bit more of kind of a, a World of Endor kind of thing going on. You might even you know imagine seeing some Ewoks kicking around somewhere. And then there's the kind of industrial complex uh, of runoff, which mm, is pretty boring, really. Overall, the map pack is actually pretty good. The variety in the maps is solid, as is the gameplay. Although we found that the frame rate on Swampland was a little bit pitchy in places. It could certainly do with, well, some polish, in my opinion. We found that generally the frame rate was solid throughout on our uh, test rig, just with some frame rate dips on, you know, like I say, Swampland that shouldn't really have been there, in my opinion. Certainly, uh, we were seeing frame rates hitting sort of 50 frames a second in some areas, which is just weird when the other two maps were absolutely rock solid throughout. Value for money wise, this will cost you around £7 for just the three maps or if you bought it as part of the season pass then it becomes a little bit cheaper when you kind of consider it. Overall it's not a bad bundle of three maps. My personal favourite war games is a, just a stunning map to really play on. However the other two mm, not quite so good really. They're all right don't get me wrong. There's lots of variety there, they're nice new environments, but they don't quite grab me the way the uh, content for War Games does, which is just a stunning map with lots of corridors to kind of bounce down and uh, do parkour, as well as lots of little nooks and crannies. The addition of those uh, buildings taken from uh, previous maps works really nicely and adds to kind of some of the flavor. It's a shame that there's no new weapons, burn cards, or titans included in this DLC pack. Unfortunately, it does appear that uh, before we get any new titans or uh, burn cards or weapons or anything like that, unfortunately, we will be shelling out for Titanfall 2. It appears that they won't be adding really anything into the base game. The DLC content is only going to be maps. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but you know, given how slim the content in Titanfall actually is, with only a handful of guns and three titans, mm, frankly, better value for Money was required here really. Just doesn't really feel like we've uh, kind of got the full Titanfall experience yet. 